In this lesson, we're going to be looking at adding integers. And there's lots of different ways that people have looked at and been taught how to add integers. And the way that we're going to look at it today is with the idea of heaps and holes, or hills and holes. So before we can do any of the adding or subtracting, we just kind of have to get down the idea of what a heap is and what a hole is and what each of them stand for. So in this case, if we have one hill or one heap, that's like a positive one. It's like it's above ground. If I'm at the beach, I've made one mound of sand. I'm making a sand castle. And if I have one hole, that would be like underground. That's like negative one. So we're going to use that idea today to help us with adding integers. So a hill or a heap is like a positive one. A hole is like a negative one. So one idea to think about is just how can we represent zero? And if you think back to when we were talking about just the introduction to integers, we talked about how uh, opposites of each other cancel each other out. And that's going to help us with this idea of zero. Obviously, we can represent zero with nothing. There's nothing there, so it's zero. But another way to think about zero is having one heap and one hole, because those two cancel each other out. I can take that heap, that heap of sand I'm building my sand castle, and dump it in the hole, and it will look just like this. It will look flat. There's nothing there. So a heap and a hole will cancel each other out. That's zero. I could have as many heaps and holes as I wanted. As long as they were the same, they would cancel each other out and equal zero. So for example, I'm just going to do it on a line here so you can see it. Here I have four holes. If I want to keep my total to zero, then all I need to do is make four hills. And those four hills and those four holes will cancel each other out. Kind of gives the idea of zeros right there. So I still have zero. All four of those heaps will fill in my holes. I have zero. That idea is going to help us as we continue on with adding integers, but also with subtracting integers. So now let's think of other ways that we can represent positive ones and negative one. We showed on the first slide that positive one could just be one hill. But if we think about how we can represent zero, there's also other ways that we can represent positive one. So for example, just our one hill equals one. Here we have two hills and one hole. These two will cancel each other out. We can fill in that hole with the sand, and we're left with one hill. That's like we had before. That's another way to represent one. We could do the same thing here. Here we have one, two, three hills and two holes. We can fill this hole with this hill, fill this hole with this hill, and we're left with one heap, same as the beginning. All three of these are different ways to represent positive one. We can also look at negative one and give us the same idea. Here we have negative one, like we talked about before. It's just a hill. And then this is just like our idea from above where we have ones that can cancel each other out. So one hill can go in that hole, and we're left with one hole, or negative one. We can do the same here. Those two will cancel each other out. We're left with negative one. Again, we haven't started any of the adding integers yet. These are just basic ideas of this heaps and holes concept that's going to help us with the actual adding integers and subtracting integers. But we have to get this idea down first before we can get to the adding integers. So now let's look at 3 plus 3. Obviously, we know that the answer is 6. But what would that look like with our heaps and our holes? This line right here is like if we were looking at the ground and we're eye level with it. So anything we draw underneath that line is like our hole. Anything we draw above it is like our hills. So this is like a positive 3 plus a positive 3 because there's no negatives in front of it. We know that it's a positive number. So I can draw in 3 hills. So I have one, two, three hills, and now it says add on three more hills. So add, add on one, two, three more hills, and now we can add them all together, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six hills. Hills are like positive numbers, so we have plus six. Yes, that's what we know it'll be. That's just the basic idea of hills and holes. So now let's look at that idea with a little more of negative numbers. So here it says negative 4. Remember, negatives are like holes. So I'm going to start with 4 holes. 1, 2, 3, 4. And it says add on 4 more negative numbers or holes. So let's add on 1, 2, 3, 4 more holes. Now I can just add everything up to see 
see what I have, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight holes, or negative eight. So negative four plus negative four will give us negative eight. Looking at another one, first you can just look at what that would be modeled as. Here it says we have plus four. That would be like four hills. So we can look at it with the actual hills, one, two, three, four. Or if you like the line better, we can represent it that way. And then it says add on negative two. Remember, negative is like whole, so I have two holes. Or if we like the line better, we have negative two. Now, we can go back to the idea of hills and holes canceling each other out. And I'm going to do some canceling out this time. So here I have a hill and a hole that will cancel each other out. And here I have a hill and a hole. And I'm left with two hills, or positive two. I can look at that same idea with our line here. Here we have a hill and a hole that will cancel each other out. Here we have a hill and a hole that will cancel each other out. And we're left with two hills, which is plus two. So either idea, either method will give us that same answer. So now if we really think about what we're doing, if we have a positive number and a negative number, we're really subtracting those numbers. That's like our canceling right here. So if we have one positive number and one negative number, we're really just subtracting them and taking the sign of the bigger number that we started with. Let's try another example. And we'll just use our line just so that we can see what that would look like. So here we have seven. Remember, if there's no sign in front of it, we know it's a positive number. So I'm going to start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to add on negative four, which is like four holes. And I'm just going to draw them right underneath here so that I know how many are going to be canceled out right away. So there's two, three, four. Now I can easily see what numbers or what hills and holes are going to be canceled out and what's going to be left. And we can see that we're left with one, two, three, three hills or positive three. So seven plus negative four is positive three. Remember we said what we're really doing here is subtracting seven minus four, which is three, taking the sign of the bigger number. Let's look at another one. We'll do one more. That'll just be an extra one down there. Here it says let's start with three. Remember that's like positive three. So we're going to start with three hills. One, two, three. And we're going to add on negative six or six holes. So I'm going to draw them right underneath here again. Two, three, four, five, six. And we can cancel out. That's like our subtracting. And see that this time we're actually left with holes. And remember, holes are like negative numbers, so that's like negative three. So the hills and holes is just a great way to look at it. It's a good visual of what's really happening when we're adding and subtracting numbers, positive and negative numbers. So what are we really doing? We already talked about this. But what we're really doing, if they're both negative, we're just adding them up. It's having four hills, four holes, adding three more holes, and it's going to be seven holes. Keep the sign the same. The only time that it's different is when we're looking at one positive and one negative number. And like we said, we're just going to take subtract the two numbers. We're not worrying about the negatives. And then we're just going to take the sign of the bigger number. So in this case, negative seven plus two. If we subtract those, we would get five. And then we're going to take the sign of the bigger number, which the bigger number in this case is seven, or the bigger absolute value. So I'm not thinking about the negatives. So our answer would be negative five. We can look at a couple more examples, but that just gives you the basic idea of adding integers and looking at it with heaps and holes.